Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Tina. Uh, last video, I explained what is. I explained what cross-site scripting is. Okay, and uh, this video, I'm gonna write your write a code to show you uh, how cross-site scripting happens, and then we will use. Uh, a, a call tag called C out to prevent a cross site scripting attack. Okay, so now let's go back to our IDE. So here, uh, this is the call actually is for C set and C out. And uh, how about I change a little bit? Okay, uh, okay, I'll just do like this. Okay. So here I will create a, a, another page called uh, XSS uh, form, okay? And this is uh, X, X cursor scripting form, okay? And where we start, okay? How about, uh, um, because we don't have a database, so how to prevent, how to mimic the behavior we have uh, uh, comments. What I will do is uh, we just use an instance variable in serverlet. How about that? Because otherwise uh, it's going to be very long for our demo. Okay. It's not a good to use instance variable. Okay. Because it's asynchronous. I will show you. So first we have a form and uh, we will go to do post. How about method is uh, method is a post okay and here in our index i will add another li here a h i f go to uh, form okay and now uh here we are go to x x oh, sorry x uh, x s s form okay and now we will go here and uh, here we will add, uh, how about we add a text area? Doesn't matter, okay? And the name we give, uh, uh, how about it called uh, posts, uh, blog, how about it called blog, okay? Oh, comments, comments, a oh, blog, blog. <laughs> I'm this kind of person, which is uh, change, uh, change uh, you know, change ideas, change your mind always. Okay. Don't know which one is a good. So that's why I have a uh, difficult when I go to a restaurant to order. Okay. Uh, when I go to restaurants with my friends, I will always order my friend orders. Okay. What she has, I will have exactly the same thing. So I don't need to think about it and read the menu. <laughs> so now, okay, I will create another servlet called uh, XSS servlet. Okay. So it's uh, clear. It's uh, going to be like this one so extends HTTP servlet and uh, here this one I will using annotation web servlet and uh, how about it just call XSS okay and uh, we will do yes this one this one I will go to action yes uh, XSS okay this one okay and uh, do post right do post and uh, first we can use uh, string block equals request dot get uh, parameter and uh, what's the value value is this one block okay and now what we are going to do is i will use an instance variable otherwise when we retrieve uh, uh, either we put it in a session okay but the instance variable session another client cannot access so here i will use an instance variable it's not a good okay i know but uh, for we don't have a database that's why okay and uh, uh, blogs okay equals and it's not a single uh, uh, it's not a thread self array list okay and uh, this one let's okay and now we will do yes after we did that we will use blog start add uh, the each client block inside here okay and then we will use uh, redirect in the post we should use redirect we will redirect to index.jsp okay rq dot uh, 
uh, re, uh, sorry, uh, response, R-E-S-P, uh, response, dot, send, redirect, go to index, dot, JSP, okay? After this part is done, which means when I go here, when I type something, it's gonna be saved into these blocks and it's gonna redirect to index.jsp, okay? Now I will have another page called XSS result, which is a show, show all the blocks, okay? Result, which is blog, blogs, blog list, okay? And here we will do is uh, here I will have another link, okay, href, which is uh, go to XSS, okay, which is uh, display uh, XSS uh, blogs, okay, blogs which used uh, in XSS test, okay. And this one will be go to a do get, which is a do get method here. Okay, I will override do get here. In the do get, we're gonna do is what request dot set attribute blocks, and we will block. Okay, which is add these blocks into the request scope, and then here we will request dot get request dispatcher, and then I will add here. Uh, we are sorry. We are to go to this page called uh, X. What's the X S S underscore result dot gsp dot forward request and a response. Okay, and now in this gsp we will do is what uh, do a loop. Okay, and then uh, display everything. Okay, so we haven't learned about C uh, C for each, so we will use this for loop. Okay, for uh, sorry, uh, list string. Okay, blocks equals request dot get attribute, and here is blocks. Okay, and we have to do down casting to what to list list of a string type okay import and uh, this one and here we will have a for loop and the string each block from this blocks right and have an opening tag and now we will have a closing tag okay like this and here we can output Oh, we can output. Uh, here have some problem. Uh, okay, just uh, how how old should I do? Uh, this one is in each scope, right? But this one, this thing is not in a scope, so we have to use an expression. But this one, I'm not sure if it's escaped. Okay, I know your expression is not escaped. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, I'm not very certain in this case. Oh my god. Uh, now let's go. Uh, now let's go here and uh, test. Okay, I think everything is ready. Let's test. Okay, uh, redeploy. Mm, I'm not sure. If this one will escape XML, let's see. Hope it's not escape. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to demo now in this because I using loop. Okay, I will open the browser, and then we will go here, and then here. Uh, first, we will go, and we will go to form. And here, if we type, uh, this is a blog and a submit. And when we display, it will display this is blog, right? And we can go back to this one, go to form. Suppose here we type a script, alert, okay. Alert, hello. Uh, just say alert one, okay. And script. Some browser automatically is a prevent this one. Okay, submit and go here. See here? Oh, it works. Good. Can you see? So now uh, 
I'm uh, I'm adding this one, right? Now suppose I'm uh, another user, okay? Another user, which using uh, uh what's the uh this one called a Safari. Another user comes and then he is accessing your website and he is displaying the blogs. And when when it's trying to display the blog, suddenly it sees some script is being run, okay? And in our case, this script just pop up some, uh, just have a pop up, okay? It's not that uh, uh, serious. Suppose the script is uh, something which is uh, uh, like uh, read your like uh, important information or session or cookie and to do some malicious stuff, then it's gonna be. Bad, right so that is called a uh, core site scripting okay which um, which is like a uh, one client one client he submitted something like a script uh, alert alert this is a bad this is a malicious code okay I don't have any malicious code so far okay and then script and like this okay submit successfully and another user comes okay this is another user and when he comes he is trying to read the blogs okay and when he goes here one pop-up second pop-up and I suppose if those code are malicious it's terrible right it's not a good to prevent this kind of issue you have to use the C out now let's continue to see how uh, to fix using C out. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I edited this video. The problem is I forgot to add the tag lib, which cause it doesn't work. Then I couldn't find out the reason. So, uh, but now I fixed it. Okay. So let's take a look at. Uh, the solution okay so we want to use the C out okay and here give a value okay and in order to use C out this will be a variable or a, a, a variable def defined inside a C set or using an expression the expression here will become the what's the thing? ER expression and ER expression will retrieve the values from the scope or it's the uh, implicit objects but uh, here this one is a local variable inside the GSP service method right and uh, the we we can do is page context dot uh, set attribute okay we are set each one which is called suppose we call uh, my blog something which is different from this one to differentiate okay you can just call blog okay this is a blog and the C out here, we were just using use my blog. Okay. And uh, my problem is here. Here we use C out, right? But I didn't add the tag lib. That was the problem. I just didn't work. Then I say why? Couldn't find that out. Okay. Then I real then after that I stopped it. I realized it's because of this one. <laughs> which is a silly okay now let's uh, uh, redeploy and uh, to uh, prove everything is good we don't see that pop up okay let me quit reopen it okay reopen and then we go here and then we start from scratch okay so here I'll go and then go here okay and the uh, form and suppose this uh, this is a blog okay and this one works right and now let's add a uh, something okay script okay alert okay something bad okay a script Okay, then this user submit then another user okay comes to our website and now oh, oh, oh what happened comes to our website and he goes to our home page and then click the blog okay when we click blog now you will see the blog 
which is uh, an, the malicious code. It didn't alert, you know, didn't uh, have a pop up anymore. So that's the power of uh, C out. Okay, C out will uh, by default is gonna escape escape the XML. Suppose now you're using force, then you will see the pop out again. And, uh, update the class. Okay, now I will go I refresh. You. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, what what I did. Okay, let's go here. Okay, and we type again. Okay. Alert one. Okay. Script. Submit. You will see pop up again. Okay. Because here we 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 prevent this one to escape. By default you're gonna escape. Okay, that's the power of C out to prevent cross site scripting. Okay, uh, I think I'm done about this video and also show you what is uh, cross side scripting and how to use C out prevent this uh, behavior. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.